I'm going to trade as so US dollar saw some mild strength in Monday's session. Uh, deal, dollar, dollar index trading either side of that psychological 104 level, but uh, again being capped to the upside by that 100 day moving average there, uh, that resistance. So there was little in the way of catalyst, uh, really, no T1 data release. So that will change today, though, dramatically with US CPI figures released, which will really go some way as to uh, how the how market participants and the Fed are going to gauge the timing of the of their first rate cuts. Uh, dollar yen was mostly fat, flat for the second straight session. Volume was pretty low, though, with uh, Japan on a holidays. Dollar yen hit a low there of 148.94, but did fail to stay beneath that key 149 level. There's a, a rise in US yields dragging that pair higher uh, and held above that level at session close. Aussie dollar rallied through that uh, 6525, Aussie US, I should say, through the 6525 resistance level. Um, it's a big key level to watch. It was a strong support level not too long ago. So be, traders, Aussie traders will be watching that to see if it can re-establish itself as support. The Kiwi dollar lagged um, despite some hawky Sharpie and Z commentary where the Governor Orr said inflation is still too high. Um, you, uh, Kiwi dollar uh, finding resistance at the February highs and dropping to a low of 61.20. So that also saw Aussie Kiwi pair have its biggest up day of 2024, hitting a high of 106.50, retracing all of those steep losses on Friday. Um, attention will turn today to uh, New Zealand inflation expectations and uh, some comments from the RBA's COLA.